One of the things that I work on with the musicians is how to optimize their musculoskeletal health for best performance. It starts with really analyzing their overall position and posture in relation to the instrument. Music is like we're tiny, we're tiny muscle athletes. With every musician, hand position and posture is everything. If I'm playing and I'm, and I'm bending my wrists that way, that is just going to be a recipe for tendonitis. Because we've never done this before, the first step was just have a group of musicians come in and see, can we capture three people in the same capture space? They're going to put some electrodes that trace our movements. Aviva wants to track those to make sure I'm doing it, it right. Maybe I could do it better. And then my husband, Omar Hakim, he's a master drummer. Omar, in particular, has a very fluid playing method. So when you watch Omar playing, it's like a ballet. She's like, he's a perfect candidate. We must analyze. So the first step is just to see what kind of arm movement they use for playing, and then look at the relationship between the different joints, how much of the shoulder is moving in relation to the elbow and in relation to the wrist. For the bass player, it's a little different. There's a lot of shoulder work going on on the left side. What can we learn from these elite players to teach us more about injury prevention and in novice players? So it's about analyzing people that have studied good technique and help the kids before the injury happens, which I like about hospitals for special surgery because you guys want to help us musicians before we get injured. They did their thing and we were able to get nice preliminary data to start looking at. Jamming for, for research is <laughs> <It's> too good. <laughs>